everyone, my name is Imran Sharif and I'm here uh, for one of the module 7 uh, uh, procedure speech and I'd like to show you my audience first so, and then I'll carry on with my subject. So this is my audience, uh, Mrs. Khan, Mr. Khan and Mr. Sharif, of course she is my wife. Uh, so I'll carry on with my subject. Hello everyone, my name is Imran Sharif and today my subject is uh, corruption in India. Uh, we have been asked to choose one subject which is like we are too much into that, something which we want to convey to others. So this is what I've choose, uh, chosen because uh, corruption is one of the biggest problem in India and that's what I want to um, tell uh, the people around me on that. So I'll start my speech. Uh, hello everyone, uh, my fellow citizens and guests. Uh, I'm here to just uh, give some advice and just convince you something to take some action against corruption. As you all know, uh, since 1945, when British people living in India in 1949, India got independent, we have to face many challenges. And one of the biggest challenges we are facing is corruption. It has been 65 years, almost 65 years, and we are still fa facing uh, corruption. Uh, as you see, uh, this chart. The biggest problem in growth of India is corruption, which is almost 16%. That's one of the biggest problem in growth or increase of GDP. That's what we face. And um, as per the statistics, India's growth last year, GDP growth was 4.8% and the spec to be changing it about 6% in 2015, which is very good when you takes international GDP and actually it's more than UK and uh, America but again when it comes to the country itself it is too low and uh, the basic reason is corruption uh, from everyone from the bottom to the top uh, that includes me and you and all the people we are corrupted not in, not in the sense we are taking bribe in the sense we are involved in giving bribes too we have to take some action we have to stop that. It will not start, start from anywhere else. It will start from us. Uh, as per the um, latest survey, which was done in 2013, as per this chart, almost the bribe people give, you and me, 30% of the bribe goes to police. 33% goes to government officials like high-end government officials. Almost 20% goes to the state and city employees. And of course, private companies and NGOs are involved in that. And you will be interested why we are paying this bribe. Amazingly, just to do the right thing. Yes, as for this graph, which was done on 2013, 51% uh, of the bribe which we have given to these people is just to do the right thing. Like if I have to, if I have to get something like an official document, which is my right of being a citizen in India, I'm paying for that. Why? Why you are doing that? Of course, the next level goes to the business people, or like it says, thirty-three percent. Thirty-three percent goes to the people who want to harm themselves or the others in order to get some business or in order to gain some um, profit, which is not right. You and me need to stop that. What's the solution? You get it from your ancestors? Oh, my father has bribed just to do the right thing. I'll do it too because it's a shorter way. It's an easy way. No, I don't think so. Is it what you are going to give to your children? I don't think so. Because if you do that, that will carry on and one day where the growth is 6% or it's going to be 6%, it will change to zero and it will go bottom and bottom. So here we have to make changes. There is a legal system. We have to go through with that. We don't have to take shortcuts. Shortcuts are always wrong. They're always incorrect. We have to take the long path. Someone asks you for a bribe, file a complaint. There is a legal system. If the, if the complaint cannot be filed, you can go to court. I know, you'll be worrying who will go to court, who will pay your time, 
time is expensive, you do jobs, but yes, that is what you have to pay in order to make changes. If you want this country to be successful, if you want this country to be bribe free, corruption free, you will have to give up something. Things that cannot come without paying any cost. And this is a cost you need to pay. To step up and change it. If you don't change it, you will pay for it, your kids will and upcoming generations will pay for it. So choice is yours. Um, thank you. Thanks a lot.